brief description of the subject pharmacognosy, which is an important subject in the curriculum of pharmacy. So let's begin. Before proceeding, we should know the meaning of term pharmacognosy. This pharmacognosy word is actually made up of two Greek words, pharmacon and gignosko. The meaning of term pharmacon is drug and gignosko means to acquire the knowledge of. This term gignosko is sometimes also known as gnosis which means knowledge. So from the meaning of this term, it is clear that through this subject, we will acquire the knowledge of drug. Actually, pharmacognosy is related to both botany and plant chemistry and phytochemistry and it is a vital link between Ayurvedic and allopathic system of medicines. This term pharmacognosy was firstly coined by a Austrian physician J. A. Smith in year 1811 in the title of his book Life of Gel Matra Medica. Secondly, this term was used by a German scientist C. S. Hitler in year 1815 in the title of his work Analecta Pharmacognostica. Okay, so <clears throat> as I told you that in this subject, through this subject, we will acquire the knowledge of drug. Now the question arises, what is drug and which types of drug are studied in pharmacognosy? So, next is drug. Drug is any chemical substances that is used for prevention, diagnosis or treatment of diseases. Now, this drug may be natural or synthetic. Natural drug means which are obtained from nature. While synthetic drug means uh, that is synthesized in laboratory through various chemical reactions. In pharmacography, we study about the crude drug. What is crude drug? That drug which is collected in raw form that is in natural state which has not been advanced in value or improved in condition. Okay, so crude drug is a drug in its natural state without any processing or treatment except drying or size reduction. Okay, here I am for explaining crude drug, I am taking a simple example of uh, ginger. It's fresh as well as dry rhizome can be used as a drug. It has various medicinal values. For example, it can be used as a stomachic, it can be used as aromatic, stimulant, flavoring agent. It is used in nausea, mainly due to uh, morning sickness, etc. So, it is a crude drug because we use it in natural state. Okay. We have not processed it or not treated it in any way. Okay. So, crude drug means that drug which is uh, used in natural state without any processing or treatment. Okay. Now, this crude drugs may be collected from various natural sources like plant, animals, minerals, etc. Now, comes to the definition of pharmacopoeia. There is no need to mug up the definition. Just compile it, whatever I have told you now. It is a branch of bioscience which deals with the study of crude drugs. Okay? It is obtained from natural sources. Uh, the natural sources, there are basically four natural sources by which crude drugs are obtained. These are plant source, animal source, mineral source and microbes, microbial source. Now, animals will be of two types, marine animals or terrestrial animals. Marine animals, those found in ocean or seas, by terrestrial, that is in land. Okay. So, the natural sources which we are using can be taken as an entire, it may be an entire plant, entire animal or entire microbes, etc. It may be part of a plant, like it could be flower bird of the plant or rhizome or fruit or leaf or it may be a whole plant. It may be an extract obtained from the plant or it may be an isolated pure compound. Now I will discuss examples of all the sources. First of all, I will take example of plant source. The obtained from, uh, there are several drugs which are obtained from plant source. Few of them I have taken. First is Sena. Sena is the dried or fresh leaf and obtained plant Ketchum mystifolia. It is used as laxative. Second uh, drug I have taken is ginger. It is a dried or fresh rhizome obtained from the plant ginger officinalis. 
it is used as uh, carminatives to make it aromatic fragrances etc third is the uh, third drug is go flu it is a dry type fruit uh, it, uh, it is used in uh, kidney stone etc fourth is the bitka it is a it is it's a whole area pulch is uh, taken as a drug it is used as a drug uh, it is used it, uh, it has an anti cancer property fifth is the clove it is it's a flower bird is used uh, as a drug it is a flower bird obtained from the plant virginia calfulus uh, it is used mainly as dental analgesi last one is serpagandha it is a uh, it is a uh, root of rhizome of the plant <laughs> rawlsia serpentina it has an anti hypertensive property these are few examples there are so many drugs which are used as a they are uh, which are used as a drug and often for plant now next comes the example of animal fruits first i am giving my animals two uh, drugs that are often for malaria here i take two examples cod liver and uh, cod liver oil and shark liver oil these both drugs are used in the deficiency of vitamin a d and to use in uh, rickets second one is the drug that is obtained from cholesterol source i have taken for example these wax and honey these wax the wax obtained from the honey comb uh, while honey is uh, obtained from bees it is these wax is used as a ointment base and the hearty agent in dental industries in the vision plasters etc while a honey has some unique and diversion property okay next is the drug that is of there are some examples of the drug that are obtained from mineral source number one first is the pantherine this is a combination of zinc oxide and ferric oxide it is mainly used as a suspending agent as a emulsifying agent as a base of for of resistic extra second one is the chalk with a combination of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate it is used as anti acid and in the treatment of diarrhea third one is the calamine calamine it is a combination of zinc oxide and ferric oxide it is used as a skin as a skin protectant and it also possesses astringent property next is a drug example of few drugs which are obtained from microbial source microbial source is a very important source for a few drugs and several antibiotics are obtained from microbial source only for example examples of antibiotic first is penicillin which is obtained from fungus penicillin roundup other antibiotics like streptomycin interventin etc get obtained from microbial source a patch from these uh, drugs pharmacopoeia also incorporates the study of various uh, drug, various uh, materials that are used in pharmacy for example suspending agent disintegrating agent uh, flavoring agent pesticides allergens antibiotics etc and this subject aims of passes uh, the knowledge of history cultivation collection distribution chemical composition chemical structures therapeutic uses storage etc of the future which i will discuss later in my next video